Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Train Sim World 3, where it was a lovely, lovely morning, and now there is a storm going on. But welcome to Training Center, which is a relaxed, calm, very chilled way of experiencing the game. It is just me, the tracks, the rain, the, the lightning that you just saw on a gentle morning adventure. There are no other train drivers here, it is just me. And so we'll have a nice, relaxed meander around the training centre this morning. Um, no problems, relaxed, for us to enjoy this brand new game that is in early access. This answers the question of, will I in fact pre-order the game to get the early access? The answer is obviously yes, I have indeed done this. Um, and I've had a bit of a, bit of a play around already. Um, you know, just doing a few of the tutorials because some of the trains I'd, I've never driven um, and as you can see it's very rainy and and what, what what's this happening There's, it's that appears to be a train but I'm the only driver what oh that is going pretty quickly it is a trainless driver in fact there are two um, for those people who are um, on you know, quick of vision, we'll notice in the bottom corner it says 11.06. Um, I started this at 10 o'clock, so it's taken an hour and six minutes to get this prepared. Um, I have a train running that way. I also have a train coming the other way, so hopefully we'll see that um, shortly. It'll take a bit longer, you'll you'll see why when we get there. Um, but yeah, welcome to Train Symbol 3, um, where it's not going to be relaxed. We've got two trains running, rogue, no drivers, in the middle of the circuit. So that the big circuit that runs around the outside, there are trains running on it. Because we want some peril, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a morning for, you know, chilling, relaxing. This is a morning for peril. Um, so it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm very much uh, looking forward to this. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a bit of a wander around. We're going to try and find the um, 20 things... I've forgotten what they're called. Um, there, are, there are 20 collectibles. Um, and the plan is... Oop, I have, it helps if you unmute the game audio. So you didn't hear the as the train came past. There'll be another one. Um, yeah, it's... It's very pretty. Um, it was completely dry when I started this. It was dry for an awful long time. Um, but now it's rainy. Uh, literally, as I was about to start, I, I got the, the first train moving. I was about to start the second train and it started raining. Um, so that was a bit awkward. Now we'll, we'll go for as long as the trains are, you know, running. Because at some point it will derail itself. I, I can guarantee one of them will derail. Um, but yeah, welcome to Train Sim World 3. It is, it is mighty nice. It is very pretty. Um, and that's one of the things we're going for. Is it safe? Yeah, probably. We didn't die. We're good. <coughs> so we're going after these collectibles. There we go. So this is the route map. And we've got the outer edge where the trains are going. I think this means that we are here. Makes sense, yeah, because we can see a bit of a whoop. Bit of track going there. It's a bit of a tunnel here. Um, I want to get to the tunnel because it's a really cool effect that, that um, they've added in for that. Um, but yeah, we want to find all of these little training centre maps. So I found three. I think this is the third one. Uh, I know where two more are because I've been yeah, keeping an eye. Uh, we've got probably about an hour-ish, probably just a little bit more than an hour this morning, um, before I have to go and get a real train. Oh, there's a train. Mm. 
that's looking okay. Ooh, do you see the spark? That's... I like the sparks. Um, the sparking is a very, very cool thing. Because this drone's got the third rail. Um, the sparks underneath, if it's got the, the, the pantograph, it sparks up. Um, it looks great. I mean, it, it is genuinely a very pretty, pretty game. A um, few issues getting it running as I'd like it to. Um, there's some good things. There are things I like about it so far. There are things I'm not so keen on. Um, and we'll talk about all of these as we go. Um, obviously the first good thing, the dynamic weather. And the clouds. You can't really see the clouds anymore because it's just cloud. But hopefully it'll clear up. You know, Within the next hour hopefully it'll get a bit nicer. Um, is that set correctly? No. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. <coughs> but yeah, um, very pretty. I really, really like how the weather changes. And I was worried as I, as I got about half hour in, the clouds were starting to appear. And I was like, oh no, that was very close lightning. That was like right there. Um, I don't feel safe all of a sudden. I'm sure it'll be fine. I've got my, my wellies. Because, I mean, you know, you're walking on tracks that are third... Third, what do you call it? Third rail. So, one one needs good... Um, wellies for this kind of thing. I think that's a... That's a droplet. So what number this is. Four. Four of twenty. We want to try and get all twenty. Oh dear. This is a bit of a mess. Can we go up the ladder? No. That's, that's a shame. Um, now this is a bit dangerous. I'm sure it's fine. Say it was fine. I don't know why anyone was worried. Ooh, <laughs> it was almost not fine. It's a sparks. No sparks. Spark for me. I just want the front. Couldn't see because we were too far away. Um, there were a few issues getting everything running nicely. So it, it looks very pretty, and I'm getting a solid 41 frames a second. Um, with pretty much everything on Ultra, because um, I'm playing at 4K, I have bought the um, anti-aliasing down a bit, because I don't, I don't need like it to upscale and then <laughs> squish it down. Because 4K, man, um, I tell you, if you want a performance boost, the best thing you can do is get a 4K monitor. Like seriously, a 4K monitor is awesome. Um, because you don't need anti aliasing And one of the biggest performance hits you're going to get is running AA. So it was like a, a holiday for my graphics card when I initially got um, 4K up and running. A tunnel. Tunnels are very, very cool. Now this tunnel is a slight cheaty tunnel because it's got you know, lights inside it. But you can you can already see the effect. So let's let's, let's go in. So because of the lights, it's actually quite bright in here. But the end of the tunnel you cannot see. So if the train comes, I can't see it coming. So I'm going to keep nice and to the edge. It's a bit bit misty as well, so that doesn't help matters. Literally all the weather that could have gone badly for, for streaming has happened as I started streaming. But as you get closer to the end of the tunnel, your eyes start to adjust, and you come out the other side, and it looks great. So actually, let's get into the tunnel. Let's have our eyes oh. go dodgy. Oh no. There we go. Whew. I want to see the train 
appear just to see how it looks this is exciting yeah in fact it's milk tractor oh here we go whoa and there's the other one So a class 66 running a whole lot of freight. That was perfectly timed. Thank you, game. Ooh, ooh, look, blue sky. So why it took me an hour to get this up and running? Because you needed to get um, <coughs> British trains. Because British trains don't care um, if you are um, in them or not, basically. Oh, this is very pretty. There's a lake. I like the lake. Can we get down? No, I think we're stuck up here forever then. That's a shame. We'll find a way. Um, oh, look at those legs. I've had a massive performance hit. Literally half my frame rate has just disappeared. But look at the clouds. It's very, very nice. Um, what was I saying? Completely forgot. Um, also, I can't see chat today, unfortunately, because my wonderful program that lets me see um, the chat has decided to break. Um, in fact, I might try, just try re resetting it. Um, just because it is nice to be able to see stuff. Um, now, last stream, we did have someone going, I see you. I did give it a go. I did genuinely try to get the ICE up and running and working for this stream. But you can't because it's, it's German and it won't let you. And this is the sad thing. Okay. The British trains genuinely do not care if you are sat in the seat or not. Now, obviously, in real life, that's not the case. It's got the dead man switch. And if you don't have that pushed down, the train doesn't go. It sticks the anchors on. Oh, look at that. Now, in Train Symbol 3, as you can see by the fact this train is just... Whee! happily flying around doesn't care now I did try this with the American trains and I did try this with the German trains uh, the American trains I couldn't even get running I'm going to circle back to an annoyance mm. um, yeah the German train is that a goat? that's a, a goat made of tree that's a nice little little thing there, very cool um, yeah, the American trains I couldn't even get running. Um, and the ICE, surprisingly easy to get working. I, I was very impressed with that. Um, the problem is, <laughs> it won't let you move if the doors are open. Which means I couldn't jump out. Because I wanted to set it to its maximum like speed that it could go around here with jump out and just let it be flying around like stupidly fast not to be I'm afraid it would not let me hello there we go up to five it would not let me do it uh, the British trains however you can open the doors and just jump out so figured I'd have um, the three seven five. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the three seven five, um, or the three seven summit, uh, running on the um, the outside track, and a class sixty six running some heavy freight on the inside track. Um, this was a nightmare to set up. Because both trains were nowhere near these loops. So I had to go in and out and in and out and in and out. 
but it let me do it. And this is this is the thing I really like with the training centre so far. It will let you do stuff, and it will let you do stupid stuff. For example, jumping in a train, setting it going, getting out, and just letting it run. At some point, it will derail itself. Like let, let's not even pretend that it's not going to, uh, because. <laughs> Unlike the ICE, which is why I wanted to use the ICE, it, you can set it to go train. It's get, it's definitely picking up speed. Yeah, that that's a lot quicker than it was. Um, yeah, the ICE you can say go to this speed, and it'll go to that speed, and then it'll stay there. Well, the ICE 3. The ICE 1, you just can tell it to go and it goes and it will keep going eternally. Um, like these guys. So these trains, I've set them to go. They are just going to go until they derail. And they will keep increasing speed until they derail. So that's fun. Um... But yeah, the British trains, no problem. Jumped in, pressed some buttons, go, 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 and it went, 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 went. That's great. Um, why couldn't I get the American trains running, I hear you cry? Because the tutorials aren't great. And considering the training centre is all about teaching you how to train, it it's definitely missing a bit of friendliness in that sense. Um, and when I say friendliness, I mean it doesn't actually teach you how to start up the trains. Um, it'll let you kind of get them start, um, get them moving, get them stopped. You know, and a couple of the, the basic, you need to make sure that this is on. But in terms of, because like the timetable services, uh, which are a very, very big part. What a horrible, tiny little bit of road. Hmm. Um, yeah, the timetable services, which are such a big part of the game, um, they they don't really. Um, they don't teach you how to get it started. It's like the big American number. I had no idea because it didn't tell me. Oh, click this, click this, click this. Um, now I will say, in fairness, I haven't done the tutorial for it. Okay, but the class three seven five. I really don't know if that's correct. And apologies if I'm getting this wrong. And you sit there going, "I hate you." That's fair. Um, I'm glad I'm on this track and not that track. Zoom. I like that little bit of sparking. Um, I also need to be careful of saying the words I and then followed by the word like because um, we have the Amazon friend um, whose name I'm not going to say because she, she will listen in and start telling me things. Um, but unfortunately, because of my my accent, uh, whenever I say the words I, followed by the word like, she believes I'm talking to her. I'm not. Leave me alone. She's not going to leave me alone. Um, there's an ICA. There you go. Um, so yeah, it's, it's frustrating because I did do the tutorial for the class 66 uh, and the 375. 3 7 summit. The, the speedy passage. Um, I did those tutorials and it didn't actually tell me or show me how to set them up. Now, you might be thinking, eh, pff, you just get in and drive, don't you? No. Um, and last night, bearing in mind this was like half past ten, uh, I was trying to get 
this setup. I wanted to see if I could do it, basically, because I, I knew what I wanted to do this morning for the stream. Um, but I didn't know if I could get it running, so I spent like a solid hour just messing around. Um, and I haven't seen the fright in a while. It, it is very, very slow. We are going against its, you know, its go. Um, see the tutorials for for both things. I thought, okay, this is this is fine. I can run this, you know, without having to worry. I can definitely get this working. Got into the train. Tried to get it working. Nope. One had to turn on an auxiliary switch, which wasn't signposted. Um, and then, let's see if we get some sparks. Uh, speak of the fright train. Bless her, she's trying. They are both in throttle one. So for the fright train, that's not a lot. Uh, but I didn't want to put it any higher in case it went too quick and ended the stream like within 10 seconds. Um. But yeah, once you've got the train actually working, you know, you've turned the auxiliary on, you then have to put the third thing down. Um, because if you don't put the, the shoe down, it doesn't get power. Because these run off a uh, third rail. That was not described in the tutorial at all. And I've never driven this train. Um, I've never done the southeastern route on Trains in World 2. I bought it. Um, and I was going to get around to playing it. But. Spirit Steam. I'm going to circle back to that one as well. Um, notice the grumpy face that went on then. Mm. See I had to press multiple buttons that weren't explained or described in any way, shape or form to get the train moving. Now the Class 66 was easy. Like, it was easy. I just went, go. And it went, okay. Because at least they're set up here. Um, so yeah, the tutorials don't tell you all the things that I feel they should. You know, how to get the train started up from cold. Because in a lot of the timetables, you have to set the train up. Like, it, it, it sat there with nothing. And you have to set it up right. I'm going across. There we go. Because I think there's something over there. I'm not sure. I just don't know, man. Um, I picked the right time to come across. Yeah, she she's definitely got a bit of speed on her. The banking is going to help her a lot with not falling over. We don't want her to fall over. At least not for another... Yeah, what time are we on? Um, at least for another hour. Another hour would be good before she falls over. I'm also hoping you're not getting the weird grey flashing that I am. Um, that's for reasons. Oh, hello. Well, there you go. If, if a developer's watching this and they've just seen that, there's something for you to have a look at. Um, yeah, it would be really nice if the tutorials went, it's completely cold, let's go through how you start it up, how you get it moving, and how you can go effectively. Um... And the tutorials are really, really nice. I, w I will say that. Yeah, the tutorials are there are really, really nice. But they just don't teach you all the stuff you need to know. Hello, board. Whoop. Now, I knew about this one because of the um, streams they did. Um, I did watch the Training Centre stream. Um, 
and I did see that there was a collectible there. Ergo collected. Um, and I, I'm not far off, I don't think, getting back to where we started. Which was the train station. That's nice. So it's, it's definitely not insignificant in terms of length. Um, and you can try things. You can mess around and test things. And it was nice the fact that, you know, even though I'm complaining that it didn't show me or teach me in any way, shape or form how to get the darn thing moving, what it did do was give me the time and the space to um, try. Try and get it working. You know, if it was a timetable, if it was a timetable service, I'd be really annoyed. Cause I'd be like, but I want to, I'm wasting, I'm losing all... Mm. Yeah, and it might be very, very late. It might be very, very late. Whereas, at least with this, um, do I change the points? That'd be very mean on the freight train. No, we're not going to do that yet. Maybe later. We might do that later, just to see if it'll um, fall over. It's very mean. Mm, it's very mean. Oh well. Um, if you're feeling really mean, I can change these points and have them go head to head. That that might be a good way to finish the stream. Um, do the weird cameras work in this? I might jump into a train and see. Hmm. That could be something. Yeah, that could be a fun way to, to finish the stream. Literally get the trains to uh, ram each other. And here we are back at the station. There we go, it's in full loop. A full loop. Now, don't run me over. There we go. Um, have we done a full loop? Let me bring up the map. Yes. Yeah, this is where we started. So where are the trains? One is up here. Just about to go through the tunnel. The other one is halfway. Another thing that actually annoys me, if you're in the map and you press escape, it brings up the menu. It'd be much nicer if it just quit out of it. I'll be honest. Um, that's me being a bit picky, though. Um, key bindings, good and bad, actually, while I'm on the, the subject. Uh, it would be really nice if it cleared up, guys, because that little patch of blue, lovely sky is now gone. Um, my key bindings that I'd set up for Transcend World 2 transferred over into Transcend World 3. That's brilliant. I had the profile transfer from Train Symbol 2 to Train Symbol 3. Brilliant. I love that that's a thing. It worked like a charm. And considering they didn't f know if it was going to be possible uh, for a long time, it wasn't even a, we might be able to do this. Zoom. I wonder if that's topped out. It is cool it going off into the mist though. Um, I really like that that's a thing. I really liked that it transferred. Hello! Um, transferred that across. Because they didn't have to do that, frankly. And it was very, very cool that they did. Let's sit in there. There we go. We'll just sit and chill for a moment. That's the good with the key bindings perfection because I didn't have to mess around and find the key setup that I like and I have a weird key setup it's a shame we can't steal a bike I mean borrow a bike we wouldn't steal it obviously um what I don't like is that uh, where's the and the freight's coming. Let's let's go and watch it while I, I natter on a little. One thing I would love to do. Tangent. 
I'm sure you're used to this at this point. Um, one thing I do like, or one thing I would love to do in real life, is go to a Heritage Steam Railway site, get onto um, this. Can't remember what it's called. Brain. Meh. Whatever it is, get onto it. Um, footbridge. My brain was going, viaduct, viaduct, viaduct. It's not a viaduct. Um, they're in the super long German route. Like a million. A million tunnels and a million viaducts. Train! You can see it just coming out of the mist. It's train. But to get onto a footbridge and have a steam train go under it in steam just to experience that i would love to do that at some point i'm sure i will it's like a bucket list thing i wonder if i could jump on it you can't jump true there it goes Here's the other train. That's nice. Whee. It is really creepy not seeing a driver. <laughs> it's really creepy not seeing a driver. Um, I was just wondering if I could like climb up here and fall onto it, but I don't think you can. No. I was just trying to like ninja my way up there. That would have been fun. I say fun. Stupid. It would have been stupid. And definitely not the kind of thing you should do in, in the world. Um, going back to key bindings. I'm trying. I'm really, really trying to remember what I'm talking about tonight. Tonight? Today? Whenever. <sighs> key bindings. The thing I don't like about them is... And this is a hangover from... Um, two... Now, I went this way earlier and it didn't go well. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely going to try and entertain you while we walk the very, very long way. Um, actually, we need to go north, don't we? Yeah, we need to go north, because that's where trains are. So let's abandon this road. I think this is why it took me so long last time. Um like a solid 20 minutes of my I'm gonna set this up was me just walking on a road so at least let's go for a bit where there's you know potential trains I mean the trains are over there now but we want to go that way oh can we go through there It's less rain under the trees. Oh, that's quite clever. I can't like that. Um, what I don't like, ladies, gentlemen. Key bindings. So I've set mine up, how I like them, and it's beautiful, and it's wonderful, and it works. For me, obviously. The game doesn't show you key bindings that you've set for anything. So, for example, I have my throttle set up to W to go faster -er, and S to go slower. -er. Okay, because I, I are a gamer. W makes you go forward. <laughs> S makes you go backwards. Okay. So, I wanted to have it so W makes me go forward faster. So, accelerator up. S brings the accelerator back. Now, on a unit like um, the three, blah, 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 um, it's a combined throttle and brake. Wonderful. So, you can throttle. Zoop, with W, and then S to bring it back down to stop, and then if you continue S 
backwards, it puts the, the brakes on. Was there a train? Is there a train near? Hmm, no, no there is not, so we'll carry on. Um, however, the game, when it shows you the keys, so in the tutorial it tell, says, you know, insert the reverser. Press W to put the reverser into um, forward gear. Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. that that's not W. I don't actually have a key set for that. It's it, I just have to do it. Um, but it tells me to do W now. When I initially booted it up, I didn't know that the key binding said, you know, bound keys. So I I pressed W and the train started to try to accelerate with nothing um, nothing there which was really awkward um, and wasn't great so I mouse games will be able to go hey context you've changed the key binding to this so we'll show you that unfortunately not this game um, it's like my brakes. I've set to A and D. Basically, I've set it to a first-person shooty shooty. Um, any blue? No blue. Because that's comfortable, frankly. You know, I can go faster. I can go slower. I can add the brakes all in one place. I don't need to remember a bunch of different buttons because my brain doesn't remember anything let alone a bunch of different buttons and the fact it doesn't go okay so you've sl you've changed throttle up to W so we'll show you throttle up W instead of I think it's A and D which obviously is the brakes on one now I don't like being negative on things. I don't. Big try. And especially on a game that I like. And I do genuinely... Uh, the, what I've already played of it, I do genuinely like. Um, but man, that that's something that should be fixed. Like, this, this, this isn't the initial launch of it. This is... This is Dragon Ball 3. This is the sequel to the sequel. And it's built off the same engine. And it's built off Unreal. And if other Unreal games can do it... I mean... Get it done. Yeah, you know, I've, I've, I've had to do that... Hee <laughs> hee, another word. Um... You know, I had to do that for my game in Unity, which I made. You know, having it say what keys you've selected, and I'm not even good at this kind of thing. So it's like it's just a bit upsetting, frankly, especially at a forty quid game, um, which I'm still slightly upset about. There wasn't a discount for previous owners. Oh, very nice lightning flash then. I will say, is it worth 40 quid? I mean, so far, I have played it for... Uh, let me just have a quick check. Um, four hours. It came out yesterday. Uh, at six. And it was a City of Heroes night. We were playing City of Heroes on a Friday. So, you know... There were several hours of that. And then when when I finished that, I immediately jumped on this for a few hours, and I've played for a few hours this morning. And all I've done is tutorials of the training centre. That's it. Am I enjoying it? Yeah, I actually really, really am. Uh, the dynamic weather's great. You know, the fact we have it is is fantastic. It was lovely and beautiful, and sweet. And now it's rainy as hell, and that's brilliant. The routes look awesome. You know, I can't wait to give them a go. Am I annoyed that Spirit of Steam isn't included if you own it, but you haven't bought the Deluxe Edition because why Why waste your own money? Whoop. 
halfway there. Um, yeah, I'm actually really upset about that. It's probably my biggest gripe so far with the whole setup of the early access. You know, if I'd have bought the deluxe edition for an extra tenner, tenner, something like that. Fiver? Might have been a fiver. I can't remember. Another lightning strike. Very, very close. And a drain. I can actually drive you. I know how to drive you. But if I drive you, I'll just crash you into something. Because you're in the awkward bit. Hmm. Um, we will drive a train in a bit, by the way, ladies and gents. We, we will. I, I, I promise you we will actually drive something at some point. And uh, probably this class 66 here, just because I like it. It's fun. Entrance. Oh, that's cool. There is actually, like, something inside it. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Um, yeah, we will drive an actual real train. And why the class 66? It's easy. And why not this big boy? hate it. <laughs> Can't figure out how to make it work. Uh, I haven't done the tutorial. It's my own fault. I'm not blaming the game for that one. Um, but the fact I can't have a steam train on here when I own it. And it's available for those people who have got the deluxe edition. I disagree with that one, I'm afraid. Yeah, I've already got this one. This was the very first one which you get as part of the tutorial. Um... Let's get in out of the rain for a minute and show you the training centre. So this is the training centre itself. Um, it's very nice. Um, there's a locker room, which I probably need to go to and you know, dry off. Um, and one of the things that is very cool, classroom. I like the stuff on the boards and all the things. Up uh, blazer, blazer laptops, uh, and the Printers, zoom in a bit. Our sister. Good puns. Um, I think it's the main meeting room. Um, there is a lovely little. I think it's upstairs. Uh, I haven't been there over this side actually. They are very, very big. What do you call them? Stickers. They've got to be like face sized. Um, reception. What are they? Okay, so they're in. They're in Unreal Ed. Very nice. Very nice. Yep. Yep. I'm not sure if that's Blender. I'm pretty sure that's Unreal Ed. The one of the later ones. I haven't really used Unreal Ed for 15 years. Let's go upstairs. Um, because there's a really nice um, drumlet. They're playing the game. I mean, they're not really playing the game. There's no one You could very easily um, role play this area as like a zombie apocalypse and everyone's dead. And you're the only person left alive in the entire world, and you're just at a train depot where you can just go and play with trains. Which, if it was a zombie apocalypse, that sounds like perfection. Um, there it is. Now, for those people who have followed the development of the game, um, those people who have watched the streams of the game, um, not my streams, obviously, I don't have. Years. Um, but Matt, who's the the, the lead guy for Transform World 3, apologies, um, he is known for having bright pink headphones with cat ears, and I think that's a really nice touch. I think that's a really genuinely nice touch. Um, little Easter egg, like the little um, goat that we saw earlier. It's cool. That's, I, I like the little little details, and there's a lot of little details. Um, and that's something that I feel they have done really quite well. 
you know, the details are good. That was part of the tutorial one as well. Uh, you found two as part of the tutorial, that one and the one on the other side. And then the other ten, um, eighteen, I can maths, are scattered about the world. There's still one that I know I've seen that we haven't grabbed. But unfortunately that means I need to remember where the heck it is. It's a nice little little bit of park. I mean probably should tell them that it's raining, so we probably don't need it to be be going on right now. A lot of little seats you can just watch people poodling around. Not that there is anyone else in the entire world. Um The lack of multiplayer is a shame. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, I understand 100% why they haven't. Like, 100% understand why they haven't. Um, but it's still a bit sad that you can't, you know, jump on a service and multiplay. Um, I'll be honest, the javelin kind of scares me. I haven't done a tutorial for it. I haven't played it in any way, shape or form. It genuinely terrifies me. Um, why? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, those desks are painted on the wall. Yeah. Eh, saves polys, I guess. In fact, there's a lot of sneaky little painting stuff on the wall. Just have a, an empty empty box and paint stuff. Yeah. Normally, no one would be going here. We will go up the stairs in a sec. So I'll have a look around the corner. Ooh. Can we go up these stairs? Yeah, we can. Is there any point? Of course there isn't, because it just ends. Still worth it. Always explore everywhere. If gaming has taught me one thing, it's all the best loot is where you don't expect it to be. Also, walk upstairs like that. Can we go up the ladder? Oh, that'd be cool if we could go up the ladder. Are you going to let me down, game? Oh, climb ladder! You're not going to let me down, game. Nicely done. Okay. Good work, Dovetail. I approve of that. Now, if this was a nice day, we'd be able to see the trains. But it's not a nice day, it's horrible. There is literally nothing up here. There's light near there. Um, but it was worth it because we could. Whee! That was slightly uh, sickening in there. Whee! So yeah, I would love to have had a steam train on here. I really, really would have. Because I bet, in fact, I know you can just have a steam train going without any uh, any problems. So I could have just jumped in it, gone, and go. And then jumped out, and it would have happily just gone and steam trained for us. There's a train. Oh, see? Ooh. Let's see if we can see it. I don't think we're going to be quick enough. Run! Run as fast as your little legs will carry you. There might be something in there. There it is! In. There we go. Oh, can't go any further. Invisible wall. That's a big phrase, cool. I should have put it in at least two. So it could have gone a bit bit quicker. Boop. So that's 
us up to 11. I genuinely don't know where the others are, though. It's a little... It's a little lake. A little... little oh. Hello. Little puddle. Let's go find out. That's lovely. Oh. That's really nice. Okay, little touches. Great. Wonderful. Love it. Do I want more nice little touches? Oh, 100%. Definitely. Do I have a clue where I'm going? Pff, not even... Not even a slight. Not a Scooby. We'll follow the road. We'll, we'll see what we see. We're on a collectible hunt. We're here for collectibles. Going to 11. And I can't see them being in like random, like in the middle of the field or the middle of um, the forest. I think they're all going to be on paths of some variety. Um, a scooter wouldn't go amiss, actually. Just a little scooter. See, that looks like one that we haven't got. See, follow roads. Whoop! Ooh. Chainsaw. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a chainsaw going on. I'm not alone in the universe! Which is nice. It's nice not to be alone in the universe. It's, it's not, um... It's not what I'm after, personally. Where are we? Where even are we? Okay, we're heading west. That's a horrible looking bit of bit of stream. It's luminous green. I'm gonna get a bit away from that. You know, it looks looks toxic. Possible just reflections. It's possibly just toxic. More toxicness. Eww. <coughs> I'd be intrigued to see if at night time these lights go on. But I don't think one can be bothered to um, stick it at night. That seems like a lot of effort. Oh, this is exciting. I mean, nothing's moving again. They're building something here. Um, and a fun thing. Hey! They did state... Oh... That... Where are we actually? Middle of here. Um, this training centre map is going to be um, expanded. Now they haven't really said it's going to be expanded in terms of you know tracks, in terms of rails, but that they want to add in more stuff. Uh, that's a hill. Holy moly. Um, which is also really nice. So as they're adding in new things, uh, and new tutorial stuff, and there's blue sky, we might be getting to the end of the rainstorm. It's only been an hour. Um, yeah, that they're going to expand with new, new tutorial bits, and they want to add in. Or oh, they've kind of hinted at new buildings and. Just new, lots of new stuff. Um, 
and that's that's great you know it's it's a route that they want to keep expanding and keep doing stuff with and I am going to call it a route and I'm going to class it as a route and are there any trains coming that we can yes there is the freight trains coming we're just going to stand here and watch it for a minute just because I like watching trains there it is you can hear it Yeah, I really should have put that in a higher higher throttle. It's still cool to see. It's a bit more realistic it not, you know, flying past at 120 miles an hour. That's a really nice view. But yeah, they want to extend it, they want to add stuff to it, and that's amazing, and that's brilliant, and who knows, even that part that we just saw. Let's get the train. Oh, there it is. It's going. There it is. Yeah, I don't think that's going to derail anytime soon. We're going to have to force it. End of the stream. That's how we're finishing it. We're going to derail the trains. Hello, cars. So yeah, maybe the the bit of construction that we just saw one day will come back to it, and it will be an actual building. Just sit and enjoy the view. And it is it is a hell of a view. Yeah, they they have done a really good job of this place. You know, because a lot of people. A lot of the complaint. Oh, hello. That tree. That tree's floating. Goat. Yeah. Awkward. A lot of the details I've got beautifully. <laughs> um, some of them need a bit, bit of tweaking. But that's okay. Um, but yeah, one of the big complaints was this route. And they were like, oh, we don't want to pay for this route because it's stupid. It's, it, all it is is just a little bit of bit of circle of track. And I don't like it and I hate it. And number one, you hadn't tried it. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. But people weren't seeing the point. And I... I'd seen the point immediately. That makes me sound really big-headed there, doesn't it? I knew what to say after the series fight is great. I'm the best. It's not at all. But they talked about the idea of taking the trains off the routes. So instead of having a train locked to a route because it needs a tutorial on that route, they can put any train that they want on here and you don't have to have a train and a route anymore. So they could sell individual trains rather than sell routes. Let's zoom in a bit. And they can do that here. And the tutorials for the trains that are in the game are on this route. And they can stick any train tutorial on here. I mean, that's great. And there's a train. I did its tutorial. And it was on this route. The ICE on this route. The Class 66 on this route. Are they the tutorials for like the safety systems? L LZB? No. The LZB happens on the route. Fair enough. It's got to though. Because otherwise this route would be bloated with safety systems and signals and everything. There's no signaling tutorial on here. Um, at least not one that I've found. Now, if you've not played a train sim game before, signalling is difficult. Well, I say difficult. It's not difficult. It's just a little abstract if you don't know about it. 
Um, we found you. Right, I want to get back to here. We're going to go and drive a train, ladies and gents. Um, because I genuinely don't know how many more of these I'm going to find. We need to go southeast. Shame I can't just jump on the train and uh, let it take me around. Slightly awkward, that. Might be able to jump on the freight. It's probably slow enough. It's fine, we'll, we'll find a way. Can we go through the trees? No. Disappointment. Um... I, I like the route. I like what it's doing. I like its purpose. I like what it's going to be able to bring to the game later on. Now, obviously, right now, it's lacking a bit of content. Um, I was talking about signals, wasn't I? Um, and it, it has no signals on the route. And it doesn't teach you about the signals. Which, if you've not played one, they're a bit weird. Because it's not just, you know, red, yellow, green. And different countries use something slightly different. So, at least on Roots de la England, it's green, you can go. Double yellow, definitely be a bit worried. That might be coming. But it's a nice nice distance away, so you're, you're, you're probably okay at the moment, but, but be thinking about it. Single yellow, the next one's red. You would really need to think about, you know, stopping. Mm-hmm. I hope that grey isn't happening on your screens. Mm. Um. I think we've already gone that way, right? I think we have. Yeah. Um, and then a red means stop. Obvious. But if you've not played before, and you've never been on, um, or in a train cab, which chances are you haven't, and I can neither confirm or deny if I've ever been in a train cab. My dad was a train driver, but obviously it's 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 not legal to let me in the train cab, so I never obviously have. No. Um, I can hear a train. No, I think it's just these two guys sitting idle. We're not going to do the ICA, we're going to go for that class 66 over there. Just because I don't really like it. Or do I go for the... Yeah, let's do this one. Let's go and get some wagons. Actually, let's have a look at the map and see. Um, yeah, let's go and get some wagons. So let's set the points. Uh, but yeah, if you've never been in a train cab, if you've never had the experience of you know seeing a train from the front of it, so you can see the that's the wrong ones. Oh, we're gonna have to go in and then out. Okay. That's conveniently already set them. Okay. Cool. <coughs> Escape. Um, yeah, signalling's just a bit weird. You know, it's, it's not... obvious, let's say. Um, and then you get semaphores, which are even more confusing. And even I had to do the tutorial for semaphores a couple of times on, on uh, the trains de la steam. Um, I've just got an achievement for operate the ICE three for three hundred kilometres. I mean, I know it's very svelte looking like the ICE, uh, the ICE three, but I'm not, I'm not sure it is. Um, whatever. Right. Bear with me, I've got a brain. That's the most important thing. Right, reverse it in. 
Reverser forward. Start the engine. Oh, this engine's not running. Okay. Now this is all you get for um I might not be able to run this one, you know. Ah, engine start. You have you started? I push the buttons. Yep, on, 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 run. Yep. Let's turn the brakes off. Set the right because you to control. P oh no! See, it doesn't give you anything more than that, and this is where the problem is. So that's the thing on. Now again, the only reason I know this in any way, shape, or form is because I watched um, the thingy, the stream they did. I think I need to read that. I think that's what it needs to be. Timing, maybe? No. I'm pretty sure it's just that that I need to change to cut in. In, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Um, is the train on? Doesn't sound like it's on. Can we have a whoop? Start the engine before attempting. Okay. I had pressed start engine. Do I have to press something else? And the tutorial doesn't go through this. I did the tutorial for this train. And it doesn't tell you stuff. And that's annoying. Okay. Cab lights, instrument lights, ons, demister, headlights. I'd pressed end pressed? A crushed engine in. Is there an extra button over here? Don't want to sit in the seat, thank you. I want to fresh air. I don't want fresh air. I want the smell of diesel fumes. <coughs> oh, we've only got like 15 minutes of the stream left, so I'm just abandoning this one. You're dead to me, train. You're dead to me. There was another one over here. Was there another one over here? Maybe. Might be the one I already nicked. Let's have a look at the map. Um. South. West. Southwest? Yeah, southwest. I want a class 66 that's on, please. No, this looks like the wrong way. No, it is the right way. Quick run! Because I want to break a train. I want to crash stuff. Even if all we actually do is we um, jump in um, a train and use the external camera just to crash a train. Um, there's a 66. Oh, that, that one's on! Now I'm going to go this way and go that way, so actually let's get in this side. I'm trying to be, you know, I'm trying to play this right. <laughs> he says, 
saying I'm going to crash trains. Uh, right. Okay. Cool. Groovy. Wonderful. Excellent. Train. Break off. Oh no. At least it's on. So we need to turn it to cut in. So. Select. Cut in. Exit. Exit. Break. Okay, didn't say anything. That's a good thing. Um, turn these on. I'll be really upset if this isn't going in. Let's just. <laughs> but it looked like it was on. There was smoke coming out of it and everything. Fumes. Right. Will you work for me, little train? I'd love it if you'd work for me. It doesn't sound like you want to work for me, though, little train. It looks like you're going to be horrible as well. It didn't give me anything there, but it's also not doing anything at all. I are sad. But I promised a train. I promised a train drive. How dare you. How very dare you. Oh, it's moving. Uh, clump ladder, clump ladder. There we go. It's working! This is how I got the other ones working on their own. Right, so we want to go this way, up here, to about here-ish, and then stop. Okay, how are we doing time-wise? Eh, we've got enough time. We've got enough time for this. Don't worry. Let's get some throttle light going on. Yes, we're going to burn the train out. I don't care. I want to see us doing something. Yeah, so it sounds like there's, there's brakes still on. Apparently we're doing no miles an hour. Um, that's released. There's obviously some kind of brake that's still on. But I don't know what it is, and I don't know where it is. Because it's saying it's released. Ah, it's parking brake. What's the parking brake? There's another brake on. That's fine, we'll just... We'll just burn the brakes out. I don't care. At least it means because the brakes are already, you know, braking. When I get to here, I can just jump into the map. And go... Bloop! And by the time we get out of the map, we've stopped. See? Perfect. Still raining, in case you hadn't noticed. So, um, this has gone great. I genuinely, genuinely don't know what brakes to on. And again, the tutorial doesn't go through it. And if it did, it would be fine, and it'd be great, and it'd be wonderful. And I need wipers, and it didn't tell me where the wipers are. That's a hot plate. Wiper. Holy moly, this is a lot of rain. 
There we go. Right, so off the power. Into the map. Keep going. Sorry, I went to local then. Keep going, why don't you? There we go. Okay, we're good. Ah, top of the buttons. Into reverse. Whoppa! Give us some speed. We're moving. Just checking that I got that map. Look at that blue smoke. I'd be worried normally, but meh. Alright. Start doing my automatic slowdown. Sound of tortured brakes. Just well, these aren't real trains, because you know. Nailed it. I don't need to put any brakes on. That's that's a good thing. Wee. Oh, we're already connected. Beautiful. Are we though? Looks it. Doop 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 doop. Let's go back to forward. Let's find out if we are actually. Oh, hello. We are attached. Full throttle. Well, full throttle six. Let's just get moving. Is it going to let us move? We're in the worst conditions we've seen. All we've got is wheel slip. I don't think it's going to move, you know. Come on. Come on. I've only got like seven minutes left anyway. It'd be really nice if we could get you moving. Sand, give me sand. Where's the sand? Uh, sand. We're not moving. Well, that's the end of that adventure then. We tried. You got to see a train moving with me at the controls. Wasn't that awkward? I think we can all agree, yes. Um, right. What I need now is the crazy camera. That's the one. Right. How far can we go with a crazy Oh, hello. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. Although it looks like you can... Ooh! How far can we fly? We can fly a long way. Good. Because we're going to crash a train. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the, the loop. If I get out of the map. Cool. Where are the trains? Now, what we need is these points here. There we go. Now we need to find a train. Because what will happen is the freight will pop along onto this track. Because there's no signals or anything, it will let it. Okay, here is, is our target. 
So we're going to follow this train as it goes goes on its on its mad run to destroy the world. Let's find a nice spot ahead. Watch it come past. Thundering past now, the class 66. Whoa. Listen to that power. Ooh, that's a that's a post. That is indeed a post. Let's get a nice view from the Oh look at that. Lightning in the background as well, just classy work. Dangerous times. Right, it's on this bit of straight. Will the train get another loop? This is the question. Let's sit here and, and wait for the answer. Have set that right. Yep. It's not going to get another loop. The train's coming. Danger! Danger! It's going for the points. Let's find the other train. Oh, is it going to derail in the station? Could really do without the mist. There's not some kind of weird safety system where... Oh no, there it is! It's definitely coming. Oh, excitement. There it is! Oh! 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 And... Disaster! Oh! Oh, look at that train! There we go. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? What a way to end the stream with a big crash. Um, there we go. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I've had a lot of fun. Um, got to run around and do all the fun stoof um, in the worlds of Transform World 3. Um, there will be more Transform World 3 videos coming. Um, probably not for a little bit. Um, Purely because I start back at work on Monday, which is sad. Um, it's not sad. I've, I'm looking forward to going back. Um, but at the same time, less time. Um, but until Spirit of Steam releases, which is Tuesday, because um, that's when the game officially comes out. Uh, so on Tuesday, all the DLC will be available, uh, which means Spirit of Steam will be back, and Spirit of Steam is getting all the new stuff. So it's got all the new lighting. It's got the um, pretty lights, not pretty lights, uh, it's got the pretty volumetric clouds and things. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that, and I'm looking forward to getting back into Spirit Steam to, to play it, because I really enjoy Spirit Steam. I really enjoyed it. So I will be jumping back on that once, um, once it's, once it's out and I've got it back on. Um, so I'll be streaming at some point with that. Um, the Formula 1 stream is still still coming. Um, I haven't figured out a date yet. Uh, it won't be next week. Because um, um, the, the better half and I are not actually free at any point to be able to do it. Unfortunately. Uh, she's on all the late shifts and I'm at work in the day. Um, so we won't be doing that until probably the week after. Um, which is the... 
week of the 12th-ish. Um, so keep an eye on, on on the Twitch for when that's coming. Um, the second, like the, the middle part, the, the point 0.5 is already on the YouTube. Um, so feel free to go and have a look at what happened after the race and us setting up and getting ready for the next race. Um, thank you very much for, for joining us today. Um, we've really enjoyed our time in Training Centre. I still need to get the other, was it 19? Um, boards, but I'll do that in my own time. Uh, thank you very much. Um, have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great life. And I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Ta-ta!